We are the guinea pig collective. All will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. Come back, because we are hanging out with Rorschach, the superhero pig. Rorschach is here because these figures technically do fall under his purview, even though technically they could fall under Indy as well, because he's taken over for our lost friend Cringer, who would normally handle all that stuff. But we got something really cool here. This is a mashup we've got from Mattel, Turtles of Grayskull, and we have Donatello. Ah, oh, yeah, man, we got the Leonardo, got the mouse jaw, now we got Donatello, and I gotta say, so far I've been pretty impressed with this series of figures. As always, you see the same stuff that you see with the Motu stuff, with the artwork on the back, break right down to the artwork of the figures on the back of the box that are in this line. Uh, there's one that they don't really show, they don't really show Krang, they don't really show Mouse Shawl, even though both of those are technically Wave 1. But here we go, let's go ahead and get him out of his package and take a look at him. Like all the other ones, go ahead and take a quick look at the comic that came with Donatello by the power of pizza. So this one is pretty much the exact same comic as the Leonardo one. Not much has changed like that. So I imagine Raphael and Michelangelo will have the exact same comic in them as well. I know the scenery is not much, but you got to admit the music is pretty exciting. Here we go with our Donatello heroic turtle at arms right out of the package. I gotta say, I love the way the aesthetics are on these Motu Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover with these Turtles of Grayskull figures. I, I think the detailing and the way the faces on all these ones look is absolutely incredible. Uh, you can see he's got a waist turn now. This is the one downside to this figure. I did not see with the Leonardo. The waist is extremely loose on this one. Uh, I don't know if they just reused the same body mold, but yeah, this is pretty damn sloppy. And it shouldn't be that sloppy this early in this line. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get him in some action poses and then uh, get him with his one extra accessory. Got Donatello in a nice big wide pose right here, showing off all the movement that he does have down in the legs. He's got the balls up in the hit that do kind of flare out and go up and down a little bit. Uh, they don't really swivel, which would have been nice if that was included as well. He does have a little bit of turn down at the shins as well, so there's a turn right there. Of course, the rock and the pivot down at the feet. He does have pivot in the wrists, does have a really good uh, elbow turn and hinge as well, and then he's got some decent balls up in the shoulders with movement right there. Really nice head movement in this one with the ball that's on the head so he does get some pretty good movement in the top of the head and of course like I said the waist already. Uh, the bandana on this one does not move around like it does on the Leonardo one. That would have been nice but it does not. Some sort of stone. Probably obsidian I think. A little help from one of the stands we can get him into a running position right here uh, unfortunately the way that they have the holes set into the feet even if you have a decent little foot base on there he is not well balanced because the hole is all the way back towards the back of the heel so it's not enough to keep him balanced into a running position like this all on his own that that is a little bit of shame it, it winds up being a little off balance so that the slight miss right there of course, just like Leonardo, he has an extra shell on the back that can come off and become the shield. Once again, showing off a little bit of the posability. There is a little bit of a lack of it when it comes up to the hip joints, just slightly lacking just a little bit. So there's no way that this guy can get down into a kneeling pose. We go with Donatello with his weapon, his bow mace. Not bad, uh, a lot of callbacks to the man-at-arms because, well, he's the turtle at arms. So it's a whole crossover thing where he swaps tech ideas with man-at-arms and basically comes up with an armor that's similar to man-at-arms. So he is the turtle equivalent of man-at-arms in this line. Not bad looking. Uh, there's a few points that are missing on this one with the waist and everything like that, but uh, it's still a really good looking figure. One more pose with Donatello with the aid of a stand leaping into action. 
Uh, overall, this is a really nice figure. I think the Leonardo one actually came out a little bit better than this Donatello one, just because of the way some of the joints are in this one. Especially the waist. Nowhere near as tight as Leonardo's was. But overall, a really cool looking figure. I do like some of the metallic-esque type style paints that they used on this one with the purple and everything for the armor. It looks really cool. I love the way the facial expression looks on this one, the same as the Leonardo one. And I'm looking forward to picking up Raphael, which is just releasing about now. And then later on with Wave 3, we should see Michelangelo. Awesome line so far. I am really digging these ones. I, I've got to say that this one is really nice. I can't give it as high of a score as I want to just because that waist. Because that waist is so sloppy loose and because the way that these legs move up at the hips seem a little bit more limited than the Leonardo one, I'm going to have to downgrade this one just a little bit and this one is going to come in at 8 out of 10. Speaking of Leonardo, right before we get out of here, it goes one more shot with Donatello and Leonardo standing next to each other. And you gotta admit, looking at these two right next to each other, they look absolutely great. I think this line is absolutely fantastic. Even with the misses that they have on this Donatello figure, I'm sure there's going to be a few more figures that are not going to be picture perfect. But overall, I gotta say that this line is one that I think anybody who's a fan of both Motu and TMT should check out. Anyway guys, that is all we have on this one. Donatello, heroic turtle at arms. These things look absolutely fantastic. I love the way the sculpts on these ones look where they crossed them over so well. TMNT with Motu. I, I love this Turtles of Grey skull line. Now, while all these figures are, I'm sure, are not going to hit the big mark, not every one of them will, these things still do look amazing. Like all the paint applications and everything that you really can appreciate in this video, the metallic paints that they use on some of their armor and everything, it does look absolutely spectacular. Anyway, guys, what did you think of our assessment on this figure? Be sure to let Rorschach, the superhero pig, know what you thought. Later, y'all. Masters of the Universe.